Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today is another editing video. So today's video is about Snapseed. So if you want to see it, just keep on watching. But before we go to the editing part, subscribe to my channel and click that notification button so you won't miss any videos that I uploaded. So if you want to see more of my videos, subscribe and might as well follow me on Instagram. So if you want to see how I edit on Snapseed, just keep on watching. So this is another editing video. So today I will edit my photos using Snapseed. So if you don't know Snapseed, I think it's a free app. So you can download the app right now. And it's very useful because if you don't know how to edit, this application will totally make the work for you. So if that makes any sense because it's very easy and the things you need on editing are on that application so you have your basics or your brightness contrast in this video I will show you how I edit my photos through Snapseed so if you did not watch any of my videos yet just click the card up there because I made a playlist on how I edit my photos so if you want to see just click the card up there or over here just it's up there or I will link it down below so you can see the things I'm saying so basically how I edit my photos here on Snapseed are very bright and white so if you want a white theme on your photos or to have that white minimal look on your Instagram feed Snapseed is a great app on how to achieve that white minimal theme let's get into the video so open your Snapseed and select the photo you want and click the tool icon so just click the curves so here just play along on the color you want on your photo so I picked that one so as you can see it gave a pinky undertone to the highlights as you can see and click the selective tool and select the part you want to select so here I will just increase the saturation of the sweater I just increase the colors of every color that I want to pop so as you can see I can select specific things on here so as you can see there the heart so before and after so here the tune let's tune the image and adjust it for my liking here increase the saturation like one point and decrease the contrast because it's very dark as you can see so before and after so you can see the red tint that the curve gave so I'll just save that we're done so here as you can see it's very dark and moody so I'll just increase it to achieve that minimal white look on the photo so just follow along guys the highlights and the shadows increase the shadows and selective as you can see that part is very dark so I brighten it up and another selective tool decrease the saturation of the photo and you can make multiples on this part that's what I like about Snapseed so as you can see the ground became a white look because the undertone of the photo has warm so I just decrease the saturation and made it gray-ish so I'll just brighten it the photo there so another selective part I'll just increase the reds on this photo because I really like it and I'll just decrease that green on the photo so so that the red will pop so here's another one we'll brighten this photo up so you can have a brighter photo just using Snapseed I always increase my shadows so the tint or the warmness of the photo just zero so if you want more brighter background you can use that selective tool just follow along guys so you're here please subscribe and click that like button if you're enjoying this part So the last photo is just a selfie of me so increase the brightness 
contrast, the highlights. I'll just decrease the shadows because as you can see, my sweater is very grainy. Here, I'll just give it a red tint on the photo. You can adjust for your liking. It depends to you. So before and after, basically we're done. So that's it guys. And that's it guys. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions about this tutorial. So what I like about Snapseed is that you have that selective tool on its editing icons. So in that selective tool, it has brightness, contrast, saturation. So you can totally adjust and point out which part of the photo you want to lighten up or decrease the saturation. So that's one thing I like about Snapseed. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions about this video or anything. Just comment down below. And if you want to follow me, just follow me on Instagram. And subscribe to my channel so you won't miss anything when I upload something, editing stuff like this. So that's it guys. So see ya.